picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. Two years before Lucille launched Kenny Rogers' solo career, he could barely afford to live in a motel. But when the song became a chart-topping crossover international hit, he had enough money to buy his own jet. Kenny Rogers was on a roll. You got no when to hold no when to fold up. 1978's The Gambler inspired five popular TV movies, with Rogers starring as the main character. He made another TV movie based on one of his songs, Coward of the County. You know, his father killed a man. It was a fair fight. The country boy from Houston didn't start out in country music. He had a million-selling pop song at age 19 with the doo-wop group The Scholars. Oh, yeah, yes, I've got the crazy Rogers also played bass in a jazz ensemble, spent a year in the mid-1960s singing clean-cut folk music with the new Christy Minstrels, then grew out his hair and rocked the next decade with the first edition. Just Dropped In was the group's first big hit. After the first edition folded in the mid-70s, Rogers headed to Nashville to start a solo career. Lady, I'm your knight in shining armor, and I love you. The classic love song, you Lady, was written by Lionel Richie of the Commodores. I try to do songs that say what every man would like to say and every woman would like to hear. Rogers did duets as well. 1983's Islands in the Stream was written for someone else to sing before Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees gave it to Rogers. It was the start of a lifelong friendship with Dolly Parton. We can't go on, pretending day by day. Charity work was a big part of Rogers' life. We Are the World raised money for African famine relief, and he helped organize the poverty fundraiser Hands Across America. Later in life, Rogers opened a chain of restaurants, launched a record label, published his autobiography, and he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. In 2015, at the age of 77, Rogers embarked on a tour billed as The Gambler's Last Deal, still singing his classics and still getting applause.